All right, today I want to uh, show you this Kenmore vacuum and I uh, want to give you a couple of close-ups and tell you what I think about it. Uh, as some of you probably watched my previous videos, I bought a B-Cell vacuum probably about two weeks ago, but I was totally unhappy with it. That vacuum was really cheaply made and I was really unhappy with it and I had to go back to uh, Amazon. So now I've decided to go and buy this Kenmore from uh, Sears. So I've had Kenmore vacuums before and the one that uh, recently died I was using for almost 20 years. So I've decided to give a Kenmore another chance and I went to uh, Sears, bought this one. And I've been using it for about two weeks. I have to tell you, I'm really happy with it. And the price is also excellent. I paid uh, around hundred dollars. So let me give you a couple of close-ups so you can see, you can see what I'm talking about. So this is a canister vacuum. Uh, the hose is pretty good. You can still bend it, but I think it's a little bit more rigid than the one that I had from Bissell. And this port can rotate 360. Uh, it's very easy to detachable, so you can detach it like that. The one thing that could be better, there is no adjustment for the suction power, which I had in the previous vacuum. Best thing, retractable wand made out of metal, not plastic. Comparing to that uh, cell, this is really, really upgrade. Also this, so this comes with three attachments. One which is a brush, and then you can open that to have it without the brush. Uh, another attachment for the floor with the button, with this push button, uh, so you can adjust. So here, once you push this, this part goes up or goes down. Another attachment is this one, pivoting arm off also. And this one has, is designed for your carpet with the brushes. And this one is not motorized, but once you attach it, the uh, air has the blades right here, which causes the brushes to move. So you can use it on, a, on your carpet. And of course you can open and close to adjust the uh, suction power. Now let's see inside. It's this very interesting design. Uh, to open the canister, you push it, move it up. So this is the canister that stores the dirt. And right here we have a filter with this interesting thing. This kind of agitates those blades on the other side. Uh, to get rid of the possible dirt that is on the inside. So let me open that. So you push this button. Okay, and then you can see this is not as dirty right now, but if you move that that part, moving part in the back, see this kind of agitates it. So if you have like a hair that is stuck in, it will agitate it and it will dump it right to the container. Container could be better designed, but you can also, so you can move this. See right now I'm just dumping some dirt on the ground, but it's not a problem. Now you can open this and then you can clean everything with water. So this is good design. Even this filter can be cleaned with water. Also, if you want to clean this, there is small brush that you can just take and then you can just clean loose dirt okay and then you can dump it they don't recommend uh, washing that all the time but when it's really dirty then you can just go underwater and then you can just uh, rinse it with water and the soap they say uh, wait 24 hours before reusing, don't uh, use the blow dryers or don't put it in a, any other dryers, okay? So this is the container. Now in front of the motor, we have another filter that is also washable, okay? In the back, we have another 
motor filter, which you can, wow, there you go. You can remove this. And this is also washable, okay? This is only for the exhaust coming out of the uh, motor, okay? Now I want to show you one more thing. So this is the top, top handle. So this is the top part that goes inside. And this is the bottom part. In my old uh, Kenmore vacuum, this part was much wider. So I had to use this part going to the top and this one going to the attachment. So this is my old generic uh, brush. So this would go basically like that. And then I was able to use it. In this particular model, everything is uh, the opposite way. So this part has to go into the handle. And now in this configuration, I really can't use this part, right? So I figured out a very easy way to make my own adapter. So what I did, I took a piece of a regular pipe, stuck this part, which is my attachment into the existing hose. And I'm using my old attachment and problem is solved. So you don't need to buy a special attachments. This part is free. Now I, I use my old attachment with this one and it works perfectly. So when you're ready to uh, store the vacuum, you can just push this, close that, and you can stand it up. And there is a little hole that correlates with this pin. That's how you can store it. In my opinion, it's a, for the $100 price, it's a really, really good vacuum. And it's a good deal. I don't want to pay $250 for something that is just a little bit bigger because basically that's what you pay for. You have 11 amps, you have uh, metal ones, and you have good uh, filters that are washable, and you have good selection of the attachment. So in my opinion, it's a good deal. For about $100, you can get a vacuum that is a little bit smaller if you don't want to pay two, three, or $400 uh, or even $500. So good small one and lightweight. I think it's a good choice. Thumbs up. Thanks for watching guys. Goodbye.